Hey everyone, Nick Taylor here from Menagerie Studio, and today we are going to add a twist to our slider movements. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome back to another gear review. We are reviewing the Canova P1 Carbon Camera Slider. Now, Canova was nice enough to send us a brand new model for free, um, which we are very appreciative of. But other than that, they told us to give our honest thoughts on this new piece of equipment. The other piece of this is actually the KMS S2 motorized slider, which I reviewed in an earlier video. Feel free to check that out by clicking the link up above. Today, we're talking primarily about this slider right here. This is the carbon camera slider. If you look closely, it looks like the rails here are made of carbon fiber. So it's sturdy, but it's really lightweight. So it's easy to move around and take on shoots throw it in a backpack. Um, this one is about 24 inches long when you're doing an interview and you just wanna add a little motion to maybe a B camera. That's really all you need. Now, one of the things you'll find when you're doing slider movements, say for an interview, is your subject is gonna move in and out of frame. And now what Canova has done with this slider is something really creative. So what they've done here is added this center rail. And what this rail does is it guides a piece of equipment underneath this so that when the slider moves back and forth, it will turn the actual place where the uh, camera attaches to. So in effect, you're getting this rotation as you move along. By loosening these, these bolts on the ends here, you can adjust how much it rotates throughout the shot. It allows you to keep the subject in a certain part of the frame um, while the slider moves back and forth. The other way you can use this is sort of the opposite. So this creates a really wide sweep. So say you're doing a time lapse and you want to do a panorama um, and get sort of a sliding and panning movement at the same time. So it will move from this side over here, where it's facing very far left, and as it moves, it will pan in the direction that you're moving. The benefit of something like this is Canova has given you a really affordable way to get parallax slider shots. The unit itself feels very sturdy. All the components, like I said, the rails appear to be carbon fiber and the other components are all metal. Right now we're using the built-in legs to put this slider on a tabletop, but it also has multiple mounting points to put this on a tripod or other piece of equipment that has quarter 20 mounts on it. Like I said, the overall build quality on this thing is excellent. My only complaint is that the part here that controls the parallax movement, it has a little bit of play. It can kind of jerk at some times as it's making a, a rotation. So if I had to have one gripe about this, I the mechanism for this is not perfect. So the new Canova P1 carbon camera slider retails for about 135 US and the Canova KMS S2 motor unit retails for about 179. So for just over $300, you're getting a motorized parallax camera slider, which is just way cheaper than the rest of the competition out there. Overall, I'm really loving this new product. I think it's just simple, easy to use and gets the job done. It's definitely something you should consider adding to your filmmaker toolkit. Let us know down in the comments what you think of this new product and what you think we should review next. Until next time, I am Nick Taylor from Menagerie Studios. We'll see you in the next video.